Okay, so I've taken off the PSU out of the mainboard case here, and here we have the mainboard. This is for the ANET E12. What we need to do is disconnect both of these display cables. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to connect the pins on the UNO board here one to one to the center six pins on the J3 connector or the one on the inside here. For that we're going to use five of these female to female pins and one of these female to male pins. So we'll, uh, we'll literally go one to one with the top uh, with the bottom left being the one exception and I'll tell you that here in just a second. So with these figure out your pattern, color code them, get them one to one and I will do a time lapse here real quick and I will see you back here in just a second. Okay, now at this point you have five pins on here connected to five pins on here and we have one pin on the reset pin on the main board which does not go to the, to the sixth pin here. It'll actually go to the number 10 pin here. So what we need is we need to take, I use black, so we're going to go to the number 10 pin here. It's even labeled right there. And plug that in. That's all for the connection. And we're only going to plug in the UNO board. You leave the uh, main power supply here disconnected. We're not going to use this for power. This UNO board is going to power this and this board. So we're going to go ahead. I've already got plugged into the computer. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and you should be able to see both sets of lights. So there will be a light down here for the main board here and then a series of UNO lights right here. Get this in view. There you go. You can hear it. There's the red on this side. And we are ready to begin uploading the sketch to the UNO board, which will then flash the bootloader on the main board. So let's head on over to the computer and get that side of things done. Okay, so here we need to extract all of the contents of the firmware file that's downloaded from TH3D, and we'll be left with this. So we have to change one file so that we can specify using the ANET E12, and that's gonna be under firmware, TH3DUF, configuration.h. Now I suggest using Notepad++ for this. It'll make your life much easier. Now here we need to specify that we're using the E12. So let's scroll down. You'll see there's different headers for different types of boards here. So scroll down until we get to the ANET section, which is right here. And you'll see the options here for what board you need. Since we're using the E12, we're going to uncome at this line. This is for A2s only. The first line here is for the, rot the style with the rotary knob. That's what we have. And if you happen to have an easy AVL installed or some kind of custom probe, then uncomment the line that applies to you. In this case, I don't have one, so we're going to leave that alone. Go up to Save. We can close out of here. We're going to come all the way back. Now, instead of hunting through here, we're simply going to go straight into opening this batch file. What this is going to do is open up the portable IDE for uh, TH3D and from here we are going to go up to File, Examples, on, Arduino ISP, it's number 11, and then select Arduino ISP. A new window opens up here and you notice on the bottom it says Arduino Genuino Mega or Mega 2560 blah 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 on COM3. COM3 is the uh, UNO board that we have plug, plugged into the USB port. So what we need to do is we need to come up to Tools, Board, and Arduino Genuino UNO. Specifically this one. Not ANET V1. We want this guy. Select him. Come down. Make sure we're on COM3. And with this, um, I chose Arduino as ISP. All right. 
So we can go ahead and hit upload. This will go ahead, compile the sketch, and should upload it directly to the UNO board. Lights will flash, everything's good, done uploading, and we're good to go. So we can minimize this window for right now. Let's come back over to the original window that we had here. And now we need to change a couple things. So we need to go to Tools, Board, ANET V1. Make sure that we're still on COM3. And the programmer, again, needs to be Arduino as ISP. Now we hit Burn Bootloader. Now this will take a second. It'll take just a little bit longer than it took to upload the project to the UNO board and done burning bootloader. That's it. Now if you were to plug in your, uh, plug everything back in, put your case back together and try to power on your printer, you would notice that nothing comes up. If nothing shows up and you get a blank screen, you're good to go. Now the next video is going to be about how to flash the custom firmware in this case, TH3D's firmware, to the ANET E12, and that will get you up and running. Now, you only need to flash the bootloader one time. After you have it flashed, you don't need to go back and do it again. So this is only a one-time step. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to stick around for the next one if you need to know how to install the full firmware now that the bootloader is on. And make sure to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Helps me and lets me know that you guys are interested. And I will see you guys in the very next video, which I'm actually about to record right now. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Thanks for watching.